Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is Cruising with the Case Handler, a personal injury and immigration show hosted by yours truly, David Squeeze Anarchy, and my attorney, Adam Handler. What's up, man? I say, my attorney, I do mean my attorney. What's up, Adam? How you doing, man? I'm good, I'm good. How do you like the new, uh, oh, this way, how do you like I, the new I, background? I, I, Go play around with mine and get it up to that. By the way, folks, we are live on Facebook here, and we have we have a uh, a nice new fresh background. Okay, that Adam I reverse. You know, yeah, it's it's really cool. I, I I must admit, it's very cool. Where are we going in this picture? That's what I want to know. Where are we going? That's a very good question. Where are we going? I know where exactly where we're going. You want to know where? 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 Right to the top, baby. To the top, to the top. I like that. Started from the bottom, now we're at, what is the Drake song? It's like, started, started from the from bottom, the now bottom, we're at the now top. We're at the top, yes. You know, so, you know, ladies and gentlemen, I'll tell you what, this show is a great show. It's a few minutes after the hour. We do this show, which is called Cruising with the Case Handler, every weekday at 8.30 a.m. right here on 93.5 WVIP FM, and also on Facebook, all right? It's also on Saturdays, ladies and gentlemen, at... Uh, 7 p.m. and Sundays at 12 noon. And once again, Adam Handler happens to be the case handler. I just happen to be the businessman who's a broadcaster also. And we implore you, one of my favorite words, to actually join us for personal injury and immigration talk. It's a place where you can get your immigration questions answered. It's a place, God forbid, you get hurt in an accident, that being automobile, uh, slip and fall, um, ladies and gentlemen, or trip and fall, whatever you want to call it, medical malpractice, construction accidents, because a lot of my Caribbean people, they work in the construction industry. If you get hurt, you need this man, Adam Handler, your case handler. Also, we have got two prominent attorneys. And ladies and gentlemen, I have found out that one of the attorneys, Conrad Pollock, happens to be an individual who has got so much depth, over 35 years of doing immigration and also, of course, he actually speaks with the clients. He actually deals with the clients. And he's a managing partner at the firm, Pollock Pollock, Isaac and Nisiko, of which Adam Handler is also a partner. We've got the Maverick, a man, okay, who handles the cases that has to do with um, deportation. That's removal proceedings and more. So God forbid you're out there trying to fly straight or is flying straight. You've got this attorney, Nelson Madrid, a.k.a. the Maverick, who is ready, willing, and able to help you, ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to, of course, your situation. Once again, my name is David Squeeze here on Link Up Radio 93.5 WVIP FM with Adam Handler. What I would like to do right this second is I would ac actually like to rev up the lines. Okay, that's one. And rev up also, of course, you understanding that you can actually place your questions now on Facebook. Place your questions on Facebook, ladies and gentlemen. And that is on Facebook page, David Squeeze Anarchy or Adam Handler's page, The Case Handler. You want to look up PPID, you can do that also. That's the name of the law firm. Now, the law firm is located in New York City at 225 Broadway on the third floor, on the third floor. Remember that. And you can reach them at 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. Okay, I've just made my colleague here and partner with the show, um, Adam Handler, co-host on um, our Facebook and um, Zoom page. So you will actually see that he's going to be handling a lot of the other stuff. Now, he's the one that's going to be introducing the attorneys every day. I introduce the show. I introduce him. He introduced the attorneys. We jump right into it. We start talking about personal injury. We start talking about immigration. But right now, I need everyone that's listening to the radio. Log on to your Facebook page. And uh, look, up David, oh, look, look up David Squeeze Anarchy. Look up David Squeeze Anarchy and follow my Facebook page. Okay, then look up uh, the case yeah, handler and follow his right? Facebook page also as I fix this audio situation here. There we go. Yeah, All people right? busting in, you know, trying, I, to, trying to that's take what control. Happens when you run, that's what happens when you run a company, man, with multiple companies, man. You got, you got Zoom sessions over here, just like you. Come on, Adam. I know you got your Zoom session for your firm. All right. You've got people there. You've got Ruthie there. You've got Sandy there. you got everybody there. you got Ralston there, my yard friend, who is taking a lot of calls and making sure that people are comfortable, you know. That and he, he is now forever known as the yard man. And, uh, you know, that's, uh, that, now that's, the yard that's, man. A, that's a badge that he's going to wear with honor. And uh, <laughs> listen, the information we're about to give out 
you know, this is just a warm up. The information we're about to give out this morning on the radio and on Facebook is 100% free, no strings attached, right? Um, we've worked out a, a deal that for the foreseeable future, while everybody is home uh, and not able to come to our offices, we're giving 100% free phone consultations. It's never been done before. I don't think in our firm, I don't think you've ever advertised nope. uh, any free immigration consults before. Never, maybe, the first, maybe the first five people to call get a consult, but you know, right. we, uh, we definitely have been uh, promoting and trying to give back to the community that's embraced us. But the, the one thing that you can do for us is tip your waiter. And what do I mean by tip your waiter? It means go to the bottom of your screen, share the page, like the page, share the page, like the page, you know, comment on the page. It's the the best way for you know this to spread uh, in a good way. You know, we're used to talking about things spreading in a bad way recently. But we want to start having things spread in a good way, and that's uh, information, that's knowledge, that's power, that's honesty. That's truth, that's justice, that's entertainment. That's all the things that we're really trying to provide on this special show. So if you could do us that honor and do us that favor, I would certainly appreciate it. And don't you wanna make me happy? Does, doesn't everybody out there wanna make your boy, the case handler, happy and make me smile and make me feel that all for all these years of being an attorney, you know, 17 plus years of being an attorney, 15 years working almost exclusively with the Caribbean community, don't you want to make me happy? Of course. Come on, just do of it. Course. Share that page. Oh, like that page. Comment. Right? Hey, Handler, good to see you. Why are you wearing a shirt today? Well, I'm wearing a shirt because <laughs> I got a deposition uh, at 10 o'clock. Uh, my first deposition that I'm personally doing. Uh, but we don't, do, we don't do it in the court. We don't do it uh, at, a, at an office. We're going to be doing it over Zoom, just like this. And I'm going to be asking that, that person, tell me the truth. Why aren't you telling me the truth? We'll see how that goes. So uh, all kidding aside, we're here. We're here to give information. We have, uh, we have some great people lined up today, Fred and Conrad and Nelson, and I, I can't wait to get this thing started. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, his name is Adam Handler. He's my attorney, he's your attorney. And of course, you know- you know, I've been dubbed, but to interrupt, and you should use this. I've been dubbed by several broadcasters on this station I am the people's attorney. Oh, yeah, he is my yeah. attorney. He is your attorney. He is the people's attorney. And I earned that badge. And I want to continue wearing that badge. The people's attorney. The people's attorney. I like that. The people's attorney. Yeah, I like that. You know, the people's attorney. So ladies and gentlemen, we got the people's attorney right here. Okay, taking care of business. So that's Adam Handler. Um, let me take, um, Adam, if you don't mind, um, I would like to actually uh, rev up the phone lines. Uh, a lot of people out there are now realizing who and what these attorneys are at, you know, Pollock, Pollock, Isaac, and the sequel. And they are realizing that what I have said over the past few months is absolutely true. What it is that you have said is absolutely true. And we are now inviting everyone to take advantage of what you just mentioned. Now, listen, ladies and gentlemen. Adam Handler, he's got a different tone from me. My, when my tone go up a few, you know, DBs, it means something. I am on behalf of the company here extending to you a 100% free immigration consultation. What I would urge you to do is to actually call us before the top of the hour. I'm a firm believer that nothing lasts forever. So everyone that's out there that need, that would love to have a 100% free immigration consultation, here it comes, Conrad, here it comes, Case Handler, and we've got a new member of the team, which I'll introduce real soon. Here it comes. It would behoove me, <laughs> not to mention my favorite word, okay, that you can now call this number. Every one of you call now to get yourself a free consultation. The number is 844-774-3529. That is 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. If you do call right this second, you will get, ladies and gentlemen, a 100% free consultation off the air, privately. No strings attached. Just tip your waiter. Tip your waiter. Share the page. You, we're, we're now waiters, all right? 
So ladies and gentlemen, and we're good waiters. So tip us, if you like the show, tip us by calling, storing your number, okay, book a consultation, it's free. But you gotta call before the top of the hour. So if you've got some issues on green card, okay, maybe you're in the country and you're out of status, maybe you need to understand more as to what you can do to become in status. Call now on behalf of PPID, and of course, cruising with the case handler, the number happens to be 844 844- Seven seven four three five two nine. I'm giving you a few more minutes. You gotta call now. Eight four four seven seven four three five two nine. I don't mean to sound like crazy Eddie. I don't. Well, I'm definitely not like him. All right. But, but your those, prices are insane. Those of you who know that who that is, okay. Eight four four seven seven four three five two nine. I remember that guy from Fordham Road, man. Anyway, let's um. Once again, let me turn um, you all over, listening to 93.5 FM and watching us on Facebook. I'm going to go share some pages, which I've asked you to do on your timeline, groups, and so forth. I'm going to turn it over to Adam. Let him introduce the team at PPID that, of course, are my stars. Adam Adler, you're the case handler. We cruise every morning at 8.30, Saturdays at 7 p.m. and Sundays at 12 noon. I would love for you to introduce the team and we jump right into it. Absolutely. And if you can unmute everybody, that would be great. I'm sure they're logging on saying, what the heck? They started without us? I didn't even hear the honk. Yeah. They, they, left, they, they, left, they, left, they left to go to school already? They didn't even let us out? No, we're just warming things up because today is a special day. Today um, is a day that we bring on another part of the team, another amazing uh, link in the chain that we call Pollock Pollock Isaac DeSico, a full service law firm, a law firm that's out there providing pretty much responsible, honest, trustworthy legal solutions um, to your legal problems, um, including personal injury, immigration, criminal defense, matrimonial law, employment law, and of course, business and transactional law. And who, who better to lead that charge? Who better to lead that wonderful department we have than Fred DeSico? Uh, we're currently calling him the closer. I, I think it's going to stick. So uh, we've got Fred, the closer to Seco on. We have, of course, Conrad, the maestro Pollock on as well, the managing attorney, uh, managing partner of the firm. His father created this firm uh, over 50 years ago and and Conrad's been practicing immigration law for over 35 years. The most experienced immigration attorney broadcasting on this station. And of course, last but certainly not least, our top gun, our deportation specialist, Nelson, the Maverick Madrid, who's been unbelievable answering all of the immigration questions that have been coming our way by way of Facebook, by way of text message, and of course, by way of those absolutely 100% free consultations that we've been giving over the phone after the show ends. So couldn't be prouder to announce these people, couldn't be prouder to uh, introduce Fred and uh, I don't know, you know, they say just throw your baby in the pool and he'll start swimming. So I'm throwing him right in. Fred, good morning to you. How are you? Well, Fred, I'm great morning, and I'm Fred. happy to be here. Squeeze, I'm a big fan. Um, I was, you know, I've been waiting for a long time for this invitation. So I hope I don't monopolize the time, but I'm here to answer questions. I'm here to help as many people as I can. In fact, I'll say if I help one person, one person, today in dealing with a real estate problem, a business problem, an issue with a tenant or a landlord or uh, anything related to transactions. If I can help one person, then I've accomplished my goal and uh, being on this show this morning will be a success. And you wanna know what, um, Fred, um, I want for you because on this show here, we're like family. At your firm, everyone is like family. Adam's, you know, favorite word is family. So seeing that everyone is tuning in via 93.5 FM, via the web, okay, through Facebook, which by now you may have found out that we get over 2,000 views every single day on this show. I would like to tell people in your own words who you are, what you are, what you represent as far as everyone else is, is concerned out there. So this way people can understand that you're truly a member of the family. And then we'll jump right into how you can help them. Okay, well, I'm born and raised in Brooklyn. My dad worked for the post office in Brooklyn. My mom worked in a department store on downtown Brooklyn. We called it downtown Brooklyn then on Fulton Street. And yeah, we were a working class family. Um, When I decided to become a lawyer, I just felt that there was a need 
a need for lawyers who could be there for people who did it, who, who were hardworking, who had goals, who had aspirations, but just getting on that first or second ladder was the hardest part. And if very early on, I felt that if I can connect with those people, people who like my parents, just work very hard to try to make a success in this country. I always felt that if I can be of help to that community, that's all I had to do. Then word would spread. And, I, and, I'm, and I'm happy to report after 35 years, I like to joke after 35 years, I'm starting to get pretty good at this. But the truth is after 35 years, being with Conrad for 35 years and my other partner, Brian, being with Adam and Nelson for you know a long period of time, I think now I've surrounded myself with some of the best legal talent in all of New York. And I believe that if I have an opportunity to speak to someone about any problem they have, I can't tell them all the time what they want to hear, but I tell them the truth and I try to do it in a way that makes it clear. And, you know, I'm from Brooklyn. No double talk, all straight talk. That's straight what talk. I like to do in my straight dealing. talk. <laughs> all right. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, Fred DeSico right here on our show, Cruising with the Case Handler. Yours truly, David Squeeze and Adam Handler. We host the show, and our guest happens to be, of course, Fred DeSico. Today, we have the maestro Conrad Pollock when it comes to immigration. We got the maverick. Nelson Madrid, sorry guys, Nelson tend to be my favorite guy on the show here because I know he's going to be helping a lot of my people, no disrespect, all right, don't feel any way. Adam Handler, you know you're my boy, you're my dupes, you got my back for well over 15 years, all right, you're my Jamaican friend, you know, you're the man, you know, but listen up, ladies and gentlemen, right now there's an area that many people are very concerned about, all right, and it's the area of real estate where, ladies and gentlemen, tenants are concerned and landlords are concerned. So I'm going to ask Fred Bisico, who of course is very proficient in the capacity of real estate and business law, to actually speak to you all about there. Many of you have many questions. My Caribbean friends, yeah, I know you got that one family, two family, you got five homes, six homes, seven homes, you're worried maybe the rent is not being paid, okay? And maybe you are a tenant in those homes and you can't pay your rent. You're worried and concerned about what is going to happen. Well, I've got the man who can expound on that more. And his name is Fred DeSico. Later on, we'll jump on immigration. Later on, we'll jump on personal injury. Remember, folks, if you want that free immigration consultation, call 844-774-3529. You get hurt in an accident, you call 844-774-3529. Let's get back to Fred DeSico, who's on the show as our guest today. Fred, you know that question is popping up now and then, right? With all the people that's out there. So I'll let you speak on that. Well, for our residential tenant clients and friends, the New York State Legislature has decided that no landlord can start an eviction proceeding for non-payment of rent for a period of 90 days. And there are a lot of lawyers who think that's going to be extended. Now, that doesn't mean that the obligation to pay rent goes away. But what it means is if you're being told, pay the rent or I'm going to kick you out, or pay the rent and I'm going to take you to court, the truth is that cannot happen. It can't happen because of a law that Governor Cuomo signed into law last month. And it also can't happen because the courts happen to be closed. So the first thing you can do is if, if you've lost your job, if you've gotten furloughed, if you've, if you've had your hours cut or you run a type of business that has less activity because of the stay in place orders, you have the ability to put your head on the pillow and say to yourself, nothing's going to happen to me now. As far as When you pay the rent, most landlords are being encouraged to give you time to pay the rent. I can't speak for what judges in New York will do, but I believe when the moratorium is lifted, there's going to be a lot of pressure on landlords. Yes, they're entitled to collect their money. Many of my clients are landlords. This is not a landlord versus tenant thing or vice versa. But if you're in a survival situation, 
you can be sure that you cannot have the roof taken over your head, taken away from your head. As far as my commercial owners, my owners who own two, three, four family homes, you should go immediately to your bank and demand that they give you relief for the mortgage payments you owe. Banks, many banks are taking those mortgage payments and they're pushing that money to the back of the loan. So you can go one, two, three months without making a mortgage payment. That can be tremendously helpful if some of your tenants can't pay all of the rent right now. New Jersey recently announced that the real estate taxes were going to be delayed. New York has not done that, but there's, there is pressure on the New York state legislature to also delay the next real estate tax payment, which is due July 1. So if New York state does that and you pay your taxes through your bank, you can contact your bank and ask them to send that money to you so you could pay the electric bill, the gas bill, or whatever else you need to do to maintain your home. So there are things to do both on the landlord side and on the tenant side. And squeeze, you, you know me, you got to interrupt me because I'll talk for the whole time. No, 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 People the only thing that I want to interrupt Fred for right now, gentlemen, <laughs> is to give out the phone number. I mean, listen, do you know how much happier I am going to bed at night? You know, you know, Adam called me up the other day and he said, on the real talk, we got Brooklyn guys here. You got a Bronx guy here. All right. On the real talk, he said, on the real talk, squeeze. Okay. And when he says squeeze, I'm not David. I know what, where he's coming from. On the real talk. Aren't you happy that you have your show back, meaning in everything that you want to do for the community. And I was like, dude, you just don't even know how happy I am that we have a firm that can really help the entire community in just about every capacity, if not all. So the only thing I will stop Fred for right now, you know, is to actually give out the phone number. If there's anyone out there right now that is in a landlord tenant situation anyone out there that have questions on real estate he even does closings ladies and gentlemen all right so if you're purchasing a house refinancing a house you need an attorney if you have questions make sure you reach out to fred DeSico after the show you can even call now book an appointment with him the number is 844-774-3529 brooklyn's in the house 844-774-3529 Three five two nine eight four four seven seven four three five two nine in the Bronx. We say lean back, but we say Brooklyn's in the house. Eight four four seven seven four three five two nine. Now, for those people who are chopping out the bit, as Conrad would, would say, where immigration is concerned, we've got the maestro. There is no one better. I am happy. I have found the man. He's the one. Okay, which movie is that? He's the one. Okay. That's Conrad, the maestro, ladies and gentlemen. He is the matrix one, all right? If you have immigration questions, make sure you reach out to the firm, 844-774-3529. Now we've got the maverick. If you have ever had a run-in with the law, I am saying, I am disclaiming that me, me squeeze a set. You only need to go to one attorney, all right? Okay, and, and I'm saying it, don't screw yourselves by going elsewhere because one thing I've noticed about this firm, they're extremely honest. They're not going to take on a case if they can't help you. So they're going to be very straightforward. Then you can take that information and do whatever it is that you'd like to do. You can retain them or you can go elsewhere, but they're going to give it to you straight. All right. So you got to reach out to the Maverick. The number once again is 844-774-3529. 844-774-3529. And he's not last and he's not least. Adam Handler, the man who has put all of this together with myself, he is truly the case handler who has settled well over $100 million for, of course, this community and beyond. Make sure if you get hurt in an accident, you call him at the same number, 844-774-3529. Adam, what do you think, what do you think of Fred so, so far, man? Um, unbelievable. You know, <clears throat> every time we bring on a new person to this show, I'm kind of just in awe of what they say. And I can't tell you how much pride I feel 
pride and being a partner of this wonderful operation, pride on being friends and family with these people. I mean, that's really, you know, we, we treat our clients like family, but we treat each other like family. And, and it's truly remarkable. And we're all doing it from the comforts or discomforts of our own home right now. But the most important message we can send out for all the thousands and thousands of people listening right now on the radio is that there is a law firm out there that actually cares. There's a law firm that's going to conduct itself in a way that you would expect family to treat you. A full service law firm of practicing lawyers. The lawyers that we bring on this show are not just here seeking celebrity and, and trying to just promote their business. They're here seeking clients for cases that they're actually going to work on themselves. And that's a very big difference because when you actually are the attorney working on the file, you really have to wrap your head around what you need to do. And you also have to be honest with the client because if you know you can't work on that file, you got to say, I'm sorry, there's just really nothing we can do for you. So you can take what I say, what Fred says, what Conrad says, what Nelson says to heart and as truth, because we're here to service the community and we know that reputation is everything. And if we let down a single person, that's going to go, you know, that, 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 that message is going to spread in the same way that when we help a person, that message spreads and has continued to spread. And that's why we're here doing what we're doing. And that's why we're as successful as we've been. So I'm, I'm, I want to hear more uh, how Fred can help because people out there are wondering right now how they're going to pay their rent. And, and the landlords of, the, of those two and three family homes are wondering how they're going to pay their mortgage. And we have honest solutions. And Fred and his team will be absolutely taking phone calls after the show, letting you know if we can help you and how we can help you. So I'm just here for the ride. I'm enjoying the show this morning. And, no, and, but, but, but Conrad, now, Conrad, you have, known your friend, you have known him for 35 years from college. We get one word in here. One word. No, I'm going to let you get your word. You know what I'm saying? I'm introducing you. You have known this man from college. I know that much. All right? You have known him from college. You know him inside out. You have worked with him. Tell me more. Well, first off, thanks for uh, having us once again. Today is our two-week anniversary, by the way. All right. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm going to slap on the back of each other. But, uh, yeah, I, actually, and also, just before I forget, um, maybe we should change my name to Neo. You keep saying the one, the one. You want to call me Neo <laughs> instead of the money? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> anyway, um, now, Fred and I go way back. We've not only been partners for 30, 30 32 years. Uh, Fred and I also, were, we, met in, we met in college as uh, undergrads. And we've been friends for more than 40 years. Um, and um, we studied in law school together. We studied for the bar together. We've been friends, lifelong friends for, as I said, over 40 years. We've been partners now since 1988, I believe, as well as Brian Isaac, who I went to law school with. So, you know, the, 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 the core of the firm, us three old men, uh, we've been together for a long time. And, you know, that's highly unusual you talk to any one that knows the legal profession being partners it's almost like being in a marriage and um it's it's not an easy thing to do there are going to be disagreements there are going to be differences of opinion but we've been together now for over 30 years in our current form with no changes other than adding the skilled people you see before you as well as others that have, have already been on the show and will be coming on the show uh, and as i've said and i'll say it again I want nothing but the best surrounding us at our at our firm and at our offices, and that's been a goal of our not just of mine but of ours from day one. And I think we're doing a pretty good job in that respect. But getting back to Fred, um, you know, Fred knows his stuff uh, personally. I mean, I, I've dabbled in real estate. Oh, by the way, I'm also a Brooklyn guy. I don't know if you ever mentioned that. You know, I grew up in Brooklyn. I spent the first twenty five years of my life in Brooklyn. Let's not forget that I am a Brooklyn boy through and through. Okay, don't forget that. I hear that. Oh don't boy, forget. oh boy, I didn't know that. I didn't know I you were a Brooklyn guy, man. Not. You're about to get I, your ass kicked, Squeeze. Can't you yeah, tell I from know I'm about to get my ass kicked. I didn't know it was a Brooklyn boy. I'm sorry, you know? I'm sorry. Come on, I, uh, I, spent, I spent my childhood on the beaches of Brighton Beach in Coney Island. I mean, that's, my, that's my hood. So, oh man, okay, all right. But anyway, as far as, as, far as real estate goes, 
Yeah, I've dabbled in real estate myself personally. And there's nobody I would use other than my partner, Fred the Secret, because he knows his stuff. But I had a call, yeah, it's funny, I had a call yesterday from a client, a, a satisfied client who just got a green card. And she said, don't you have somebody at your firm who handles real estate? And I said, yeah, as a matter of fact, yeah, we've been partners forever. She says, well, can I speak to him? Because my landlord is threatening to evict me because I, I'm not paying the rent. So there you are. Here's a perfect opportunity just like what we're talking about right now, how we are able to serve the community out there in every way imaginable. You have a legal need, we can pretty much satisfy it with quality professional service across the board, right? And on that note, I'll turn it back over to Fred because I probably won't get another word in for the rest of the show. So <laughs> well, take, it over. take it over. You know, actually, as long as you're saying good things about me, you can keep on, you can keep on going. Um, you know, Squeeze, you mentioned closings and... Um, obviously, um, buying and selling properties is the core of real estate. And before I discuss that for a second, I want to point out to a lot of landlords that during this crisis that we're all going through and we will overcome, I guarantee we will overcome, interest rates have gone down. And that presents homeowners with the opportunity of going back to their bank refinancing their loan and lowering their monthly payment. Now, it may not be an option for everyone, but there are a number of, squeeze a number of your clients and friends and followers who could take advantage of these historically low interest rates. So I urge anyone who has good credit or reasonable credit enough to be able to get a loan, has a mortgage loan on their properties. And if your interest rate is 4% or higher, you might be able to knock a full percent or more off of that loan amount. And it's worth investigating. And I can help people walk through that process. And it doesn't have to be perfect credit, you know? I mean, we've got the FHA capacity, so it doesn't have to be perfect credit. You know? Yeah, and that, that's true. Look, if they're homeowners, they've already had someone lend them money. So right. presumably when they refinance, they're not gonna have that problem. But uh, the point I'm trying to make is that your, your time is now to take advantage of these low rates because when they bump back up, the opportunity to refinance is lost. Um, going now to uh, the issue of closings. I've had clients say this to me. When I bought my house, I went to the closing. I didn't know what was going on. My lawyer told me to write checks. I just kept writing checks and kept writing checks. And when I left, I thought I went through a, hur through a hurricane. And when I hear that story, I say, they didn't have good representation. My clients know what they're paying before they walk into that closing room. They know exactly what checks to write. In fact, I, I recommend they write them before they get there so they could just focus on what's going on. The whole process requires two things from the lawyer. One, that you trust the lawyer because you're, you're spending your life savings. You have to trust the person who's telling you who to pay and how much to pay. You don't know anyone in that room, okay? So you need trust. And the second thing you need is transparency an explanation for why every single thing is happening in that room. That person on the left is the title company. He does this. This person is the banker. He does this. The seller's attorney is handing us 10 papers to sign. Why? What is this affidavit? What does it mean? What is this survey? What does it show? There are a lot of lawyers who just get to the closing, hand papers and say, don't worry, sign. We don't work that way. I guarantee you, if you've worked with another lawyer before and you give me the opportunity, opportunity to work for you now, I guarantee you, you will see the difference and you will know, you'll know so much, you might be able to do your own closing the third time, okay? Of course, I, I, I would counsel you not to do that. So oh, I was about to say, I was about to say, I, I wouldn't want to do my own closing. No <laughs> you're going to, you're going to, you're going to know more about the process working with us. And we're just not one person in each department. Conrad's got 
lawyers and paralegals and, and legal assistants. In my department, uh, my partner Susan has been with me 20 years. We've worked together for 20 years. Nancy, our, our closing coordinator, 18 years. There's nothing that we haven't seen. And if I have a cold and don't come to work one day or I go on vacation, you're not going to get an answering machine. You're going to get a lawyer with 25 years experience saying, I'm here. Fred's not in today. How can I help you? Oh, you need to speak to Fred? Hold on. And they'll call me at home. And if I can come to the phone, I'm going to come to the phone. You're not getting a lawyer with an answering machine who's in court all day. Again, a lot of lawyers take on real estate cases. Not a lot of lawyers do solely or exclusively real estate work. There's a difference. I could handle a criminal case. I wouldn't want to hire me for that. We have lawyers who do that. You wouldn't hire me for personal injury. We have the case handler. You wouldn't hire me for immigration. You have Conrad and Nelson and their team, right? You don't want to go to a lawyer just because the lawyer says, oh, yeah, I know how to do a closing. You know, the expression, you know, uh, maybe I'm saying it wrong. Um, you know, he dabbles in everything. He's an expert in nothing, right? You want someone in each of your areas of need to be an expert in that area. So again, I've spoken too much. Thank you all for the kind words. Um, I hope someone has some questions for me because I'd like to help some of your viewers today, Squeeze. Absolutely. And before we get to the top of the hour on 93.5 FM, you just heard from Fred DeSico, ladies and gentlemen, in the capacity of real estate and business law at the firm Pollock, Pollock, Isaac and DeSico. I urge each and every one out there who have questions in real estate or business law, make sure you make the call to the firm. The number happens to be 844 seven seven four three five two nine now listen ladies and gentlemen take advantage of this all right we have attorneys that are here to help you write the number down dial it let it ring for 15 20 seconds let it register on their network the number once again to call it all right is eight four four seven seven four three five two nine that's eight four four P P I D L A W eight four four seven seven four three five two nine. Call landlords, tenants. You have questions? Call them up. Speak with them. Ask all the questions you want to ask. Now we are getting into immigration. We're getting into personal injury now. So I'm asking any any and everyone, and just inviting everyone to switch over to Facebook because we're getting off the radio at this time. So I need for you to switch over to Facebook to my page, which is David Squeeze Anarchy, or the Case Handler's page, ladies and gentlemen, just look up Case Handler, or PPID's page, Pollock, Pollock, Isaac, and the Seco. We will be there. We're ready to answer your immigration questions. We're ready to answer your questions on real estate and business law. We're ready to answer your questions on personal injury. But once again, what's important here is the number, 844 Seven seven four three five two nine. Any and everyone who wants a free immigration uh, question answered, now is the time to call to get on the list to get your immigration question answered for free. You've got to call now. The number is 844-774-3529. Will this last forever? I don't think anything lasts forever. So if you want to get on the list because you're getting booked up, it's 844 844- Seven four three five two nine. That's eight four four seven seven four three five two nine. Make the link now. Switch over to Facebook. David Squeezanicky or the Case Handler, and we are ready, willing, and able to help you. Nelson, you haven't said anything since we have started. Listen, I, you know, as Adam, I want to echo what Adam said the other day. I actually enjoy listening to knowledgeable people. Um, it's the way I learn. Um, it makes me proud as well to have surrounded myself with everyone. Um, I, I just want to add to something uh, Conrad uh, said. I actually want to expand on something Conrad said. I started at PPID about 13 years ago. When I started, uh, and Fred and Conrad will remember this, we were one of four offices in, on our floor in our building. 
Um, we now have taken over the entire floor and have three offices. We have an office in Peekskill. We have an office in Brooklyn. We have an office, obviously, in New York City, which is the main office. Um, I am extremely happy to be part of that growth. Um, I don't think you can grow and not be doing something right. So, you know, it, it works. Um, I think definitely everyone knows what they're doing. I think we have attorneys with experience. And I think, again, that's obviously been a part of that growth. I mean, again, you don't grow and not be good at what you do. So, and by the way, I'm not from Brooklyn. I'm from Queens. Shout out to Queens. V, v, squeeze, so we got I Brooklyn and Queens in the yeah. house. I don't know. I don't know if you know this, Squeeze. I used to go to VP Records on Jamaica Avenue. Oh, uh, back, really? Back in the back in the day. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I'm I'm born and raised in Queens. Okay. Beautiful. But I I enjoy listening to everything Fred has. Um, you know, obviously working with Fred is an honor and a privilege. Um, and again, I mean, you, you know, I think, and this goes back to what I said previously, um, when you have someone or you work with someone who obviously has a lot of actual real life experience, I think it makes you a better lawyer. You know, um, you're learning from someone who can actually teach you because they actually know, they understand, they've been doing this for a while. So, you know, again, I'm honored to be part of the team. Um, I think it's a great team. And uh, I'm just enjoying, uh, enjoying the ride with the case handler team. Absolutely. That's Nelson Madrid, ladies and gentlemen. The maverick when it comes to immigration. And it's no game, no joke, no bluff. He's a Queens dude. You got the Bronx dude over here. You got the Brooklyn team over there. Okay, don't want to call them the gang, you know. And we've got Adam Handler, the case handler. The man who is proud of settling well over $100 million for his clients. So, Adam, how are you, man? You're good? I'm over good, there, man. man. I, again, I, I'm along for the ride today. You know, we got this little graphic, you and I in the car. I, we we got to change it. We got to put us all in there. We, we're going on a road trip. A legal, put a road trip down, you know? a legal road trip. And, and we're having fun doing it. And we're giving good information. Um, you know, of course, I handle the personal injury cases. And I don't think we stress this enough that... I don't handle personal injury and immigration and Fred doesn't handle business law and criminal law. We all have our particular departments and our particular areas of law that we focus on. And I know you're not supposed to say that you're experts in anything, but you know, we do try to hone in on our expertise on that specific area of law. And I think that's what makes us so successful because we're able to just do what we do best. And for me, it's personal injury. For Conrad and Nelson, it's immigration. For Fred, it's his business and transactional practice and, and his real estate practice. Uh, and of course, David, for you, it's the broadcasting. We all do what we do best. And, and that's why we're able to get the results um, that we do. But you know, me, I always like sharing a, a true life success story, something that you know I worked on that I was very, I'm very proud of. So what I can do is I can share the screen right here and we can talk about uh, a case that was important to me this was uh, a gentleman named Greg. He actually uh, uh, came to us uh, several years ago. This was a New Jersey car accident case. And I don't think we stress this enough that uh, both myself and Fred are licensed to practice in New York and in New Jersey. Um, so if there's anybody out there that's either watching on Facebook right now, I know we're not live on the radio, but anybody that's watching on Facebook right now should understand that we handle cases in New York and we can handle cases also in New Jersey. And this was a serious, serious car accident case. Uh, you know, Greg uh, uh, w was was involved in a terrible accident. And the first person he thought to call was, of course, your case handler, because we say all the time, whether it's New Jersey, New York, the same rules apply. You got one chance to get it right. There are no redos. You can never reopen a personal injury case after it's settled. So one chance, one choice. And he chose your boy, the case handler. And his quote, and I'll read it real quick, is, Adam had my back from the moment we met. Throughout my case, I felt more like a friend than a client. I recommend Adam to anyone who suffered any kind of accident. And you know, this is a repeating theme. Felt like a friend, not just a client. Felt like family, not just like a client. And that's the difference here. There's a lot of successful attorneys out there. There's a lot of good attorneys and smart attorneys out there. But I don't know if there's any other attorney that has the same approach to that successful result. 
you know, it, it, and it's all about reducing anxiety and stress. And if we can do that and get you top dollar, then I think that we've done a, a bang up job. And you can see this car absolutely mangled up, um, you know, terrible, terrible accident. Uh, the maximum policy on this case was $250,000. Uh, he didn't want to take the risk and go to trial, even though I think we could have gotten it, but he didn't want to take that risk for, for only 10% of the policy. We settled for $225,000, which of course is absolutely 100% tax-free money, life-changing money for life-changing injuries, and not only a client, but, but a friend. And that's the approach. And that's the same approach that Fred has um, to his business. And like you said, he's going to sit you down. He's going to walk you through every aspect of that closing. Um, so you know exactly what you're getting into. And Fred, and we'll have to talk about this uh, on another show. We'll be bringing you back more often. But I've heard many clients come to me saying that, you know, they bought this house and it's falling apart. What can they do? I'm like, well, what the inspection show? Well, my, my, real, estate, uh, my real estate agent and my, uh, gave me a lawyer and they both said to me, I didn't need an inspection. I mean, there are so many disgusting scams that go on and unfortunately, even more so within the community um, that we service, the Caribbean community, the Latino community, because people prey on, I, I don't want to say the weak, but people prey on those that they feel that they can take advantage they prey of. On ignorance. They prey on ignorance, Adam. Ignorance, they're, that's they're, what they prey know, on. And they also say, listen, that, that dude's not going to come up with 20 grand to sue me in court. You know, so it's a one and done deal. We, they'll have no remedy. And that breaks my heart. And I'm sure Fred can speak to that real quickly. And, I'm, and, and we'll do it again when we're live on the radio. But you need a lawyer. If you're buying property, don't be a fool. You need a lawyer. Fred, tell him. Not, not only that, I'm fine. Before, before I have, I have, I have Fred. friends in real estate brokers. I have uh, uh, I've come across many very conscientious, smart, caring brokers. So I'm not going to say anything about any other profession. But what I am going to say is this. On a real estate transaction, the broker makes a lot of money. Okay? I don't deny someone the right to make money. This is America. But your, what I tell my clients as the lawyer, I tell it to them straight. I say, I am here to help you. But I don't, it doesn't matter to me. I don't gain financially from you buying this house as opposed to this house from this person as opposed to this person. I'm not going to be afraid to tell you that if I were in your shoes, I would not buy this place. See, the, you need to recognize that your lawyer is your only friend on that transaction. The only person who's holding your hand over a three month period. You, you have to feel that you have someone you can trust. Now, some brokers say, well, you wanna buy this house? Use my lawyer, he's sitting three cubicles down in my office. Or, and use my inspector, he's sitting four cubicles down in my office. Or you don't, oh, you don't have time for an inspector, you're gonna lose the deal. Look, again, those people may be great at what they do, but if you think about it logically, you wanna go into the transaction with your right hand man or right hand woman being your selected person who everyone is told, when my lawyer tells me things are right, then I move to the next step. And I then can shield you, I then, can protect you. On the flip side, I represent a lot of sellers also. And you need someone who can take care of issues in order for you to sell. And you need someone who's going to let you know what the closing costs are before. You need someone who's going to help you figure out what taxes you're going to owe to Uncle Sam and, Mayor Qu and Governor Cuomo and Mayor de Blasio because they get a piece of the sale proceeds too. So many people come to me afterwards and say, I sold my house and I owed you know, $50,000 to the government. If I had known, I wouldn't have done that deal. Well, my feeling is you should have known and you should have had a lawyer who told you. So it's again, going back to the simple two words, two T's, transparency and trust. That's what you need. 
always in all relationships, especially when you're hiring a lawyer. Absolutely. Once again, folks, Fred DeSico at the law firm, PPID, Pollock, Pollock, Isaac, and DeSico. It's great to have him on the show. We're very happy that we have you here, Fred, and hopefully you can stop in at least once a week or so um, to expand and expound on what is happening in the real estate market and, of course, the business law atmosphere. All right. So I want to say thank you so much. I want to switch over to Conrad Maestro Pollock. If you notice, I've been playing around with your names on the screen here. All right. Um, and Nelson Maverick. Um, <laughs> that there is there is something that I want for you to, to, to expand on in the capacity of immigration as we switch gears for a second here. And we've been talking about it for the past few days. We didn't get to mention it on 93.5 FM, but I need for you to talk about it. And you know what I'm, I'm talking about. It's this thing that you call the public charge or what can happen when people file their case themselves and God forbid they get declined or they could potentially be put in deportation. And the UN Nelson um, spoke on this yesterday. And I do believe that we need to harp on it. We need to pound on it. We need to let people really understand because we're gonna have some crying people later on. And I don't want anyone to come back and say, cruising with a case handler did not talk about that. Adam and Squeeze did not talk about that with their co-host, Nelson Maverick and Conrad, you know, Maestro. I mean, so I need for you to really touch on that as people call 844-774-3529, okay, to book their free consultation, ladies and gentlemen, or to speak with Fred DeSico, the man who, actually is of the moment because he covered an area that we needed to get more clarity on. So Conrad, on this uh, public charge, which took place, I mean, that which can come about? Well, um, as we've been talking about for the past week, really, um, anybody applying for a green card needs to demonstrate that they can support themselves or that they have family members that will support them. Um, what that means is you have to demonstrate to the government in order to get your green card that you are not going to become a public charge, that you're not going to be relying on the government to support you. You're going to work. Uh, you're going to be self-sufficient. I mean, that's that's the American way. Uh, and, and, and there's nothing wrong with that. And that's always been the law. However, um, as of February 24th, the rules regarding how the government determines uh, who is a public charge and who isn't have changed dramatically. And Unfortunately, they've been skewed dramatically against the interests of intending immigrants to the United States. Um, whereas previously, certain minimal programs were considered as adverse factors against you, meaning if you had collected welfare or if you had collected food stamps at some point in the past, that could be used against you. But as long as you were able to show you were currently working, paying your taxes, had relatives uh, available who were willing to support you and provide, provide affidavits saying that they would do so, that usually would overcome uh, the, 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 the government's allegation of you being a public charge potentially. Now, that list of potential adverse factors has been dramatically increased. And Nelson, you could go down the list in a second when I'm done with my, my little spiel here. Um, but now, if you, have collected public housing, if you've uh, uh, any kind of, uh, almost any kind of uh, relief that, or uh, medical relief that's not on an emergency basis, food stamps, welfare, um, pu public housing, section eight housing, um, it, it goes down, the list is exhaustive uh, in terms of the different things that the government can use against you in order to deny you that green card. Um, in addition, Previously, as I said, uh, you would need a relative possibly to, su to supply an affidavit saying they would support you. And that would be sufficient as long as that, as that relative or that employer had sufficient income, they could demonstrate they could support you, that was sufficient. Now, the government will look beyond that and they will look to see what is the nature of the relationship with, with that person providing an affidavit. Uh, how long have you known each other? Um, uh, how old are you? Do you speak English? What level of education do you have? What are your prospects going forward? Um, so on and so forth. Have you had any serious illnesses that might affect you being able to support yourself or being able to work? The list goes on and on. And again, this is a way for the government to basically use any means at its disposal to say, no, we're not giving you that green card because we think that based on your history, you're not going to be able to support yourself, right or wrong. Right? It's not even an issue. Now, people really haven't seen this yet because, as I said, the law, 
this, actually it's a regulation. It took effect as of February 24th. So if you filed your case before February 24th, it won't apply in your case. However, as of February 24th, if you have submitted your case, if you filed that adjustment of status application yesterday, I promise you, if you did not submit that 944 application, you're going to be getting a long, lengthy letter. It's called an RFE, Request for Additional Evidence from the Immigration Service asking you to supply a laundry list of documentation showing that you're not going to become a public charge. It's coming, folks, and <laughs> it's going to be keeping us busy in the, in the very near future. And for that reason, and as I've said, my motto, immigration is a minefield. It always has been. Immigration is not your friend. The Immigration Service has never been your friend, but now, that's not even, the, the word friend is not even in the lexicon. They are not here to help you on the contrary. Under this administration, the, and you don't take my word for it, just read the newspaper, look at what's, see what's on television. Every day you hear stories about Trump and the administration trying to keep immigrants out, trying to deny people their green cards. They, they, you, they, they, the talking line as well, let's keep the Mexicans out and, 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 and leave it at that. But in reality, there's also a, a battle being waged against legal immigration as well. And this public charge rule is, a, is the perfect indicator of exactly that. They are using this rule and they will be using this rule to deny otherwise eligible immigrants from getting their green cards. So folks out there, do not do these applications on your own because you're going to regret it when the time comes. You're going to see this 944 application that's 19 pages long and the various documentation you need to provide in order to satisfy the requirements. This is not something that any person should be doing on their own without skilled legal assistance. And that's what we're here to provide. Look, we're learning about it also. It's a brand new rule. Right? We're just starting to do it ourselves. But it's a scary thing, uh, Squeeze. It's a really scary thing, and, it, and it's really unfortunate. And you're making me feel scared about it also, and I'm a U.S. citizen. I'm going to kick it over to Maverick, okay? Nelson Madrid, one of the attorneys and partners at the firm. Uh, once again, ladies and gentlemen, I, I can't say it enough, and I know a lot of you are watching Facebook right now, and some of you may be um, watching this after the fact, but I want for everyone to get a free consultation with one of the attorneys here in the capacity of immigration, and that is Conrad Pollock or Nelson Madrid. And I'm gonna let Nelson add what he has to say on this public charge, which evidently from what I'm hearing from a man who is a stalwart in the immigration capacity, it's going to become a major issue and people, I can't say it enough, do not file your case yourself. Have a professional do it, okay? have someone who have been doing immigration for 35 years plus, you know, decades, do it. All right. We've got Nelson. I want to hear what he has to say on this. As I remind you that the number to call it is 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. You may want to, I mean, a lot of you are watching this on your phone. Uh, make sure as soon as you get off, you dial the number that's on your screen. Okay, 844-774-3529. I guarantee you a free consultation and there aren't many things I can guarantee in my life. So make sure you make that call. Don't forget, we've got Fred DeSico, um, okay? A real estate attorney. He's in the capacity of real estate and business law. He can help you also if you've got questions as to what's going on with your mortgages, with your home. Okay, if you need a closing done, you need to reach out to him. Once again, you don't want to buy a house, ladies and gentlemen, and let the other side tell you, uh, okay, which attorney to go to. I found that out years ago. No, you need to select your own independent attorney, and you're hearing one right here on this radio station, 93.5 FM, and also, of course, on Facebook, my page, David Squeeze Anarchy, PPID's page, or Adam Handler's page, The Case Handler. Let's flip it to you, Nelson, and see what you have to say on this public charge as they call 844-774-3529. So um, just to expand a little on what Conrad said, you know, it's not just the 19 page application, which is new, which was not previously required. Um, it's also the supporting documents that have to accompany that application. And some of the supporting documents, just to give people an idea, are tax transcripts. Tax transcripts um, come directly from the IRS, and it's basically a receipt from the IRS showing that you file taxes and actually how much income uh, did you declare on any given year? 
um, checking account statements, savings account statements, stocks and bond statements, uh, car loan statements. Unpaid I, I, you know what? One thing also, Nelson, I, I swear to God, I got a call yesterday from an individual and he, he actually looked me up on the internet and I didn't know what he was calling about until he explained. He's like, um, can you guys, you know, it looked up one of my companies, Nationwide Credit, mm -hmm. and he's like, can you guys um, give me proof that I don't have a credit score or credit report? And I'm like, well, well, why don't you just go to Credit Karma and figure this out? No, 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 they don't want that. And I said, what do you need this for? He said, it's being asked for in reference to my immigration. I'm like, whoa. Uh -huh. I'm like, whoa, Conrad was really telling yeah. the truth, you know? So I just wanted to throw that in. I swear, it, I mean, I swear to God, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a credit repair agency and now people are popping up, looking us up and, and this question is popping up. So it's definitely, definitely true. So you can, you can continue, Nelson. As so, as 19 page. you know, um, stocks and bond statement, you know, car loan statement, unpaid child support, unpaid spousal support, unpaid taxes, credit card statements. I mean, let's just use common sense for a moment. Obviously, this is not to make your case easier. It's not to make the process easier, right? These are a lot of forms that a lot of people are going to be overwhelmed in trying to obtain. You know, um, a request for evidence, you're typically given about 30 days to respond. Okay, it takes more than 30 days to try to get a lot of these documents. Okay, if you don't respond within the 30 days, immigration could deny your case and obviously put you into removal proceedings. Um, so again, it's not just the length of the form, it's the supporting evidence that accompanies that application. Um, and again, this is now a new requirement effective February 24th where previously you had to show you would not be a public charge. Now they've put another hurdle for you to overcome. And, you know, obviously if you don't provide all of this documentation, they could also deny your case. So, you know, it would behoove anyone filing for adjustment of status um, after February 24th to seek legal advice. Absolutely. Once again, folks, if you're just joining us, this is Cruising with a Case Handler. We're going to conclude the show right now. It's been a great show. We have our guest, Fred DeSico of the law firm, Paula Pollock. I said, the closer. The closer. All right. He's a partner there. And we also have, obviously, you just heard from him, Nelson Maverick, Madrid. And I, I keep saying it. If you ever have any run-ins with the law or anything like that, and you're filing your immigration you know, paper or filings, rather, you need to speak with that man. We've got Conrad Maestro Pollock, okay? The man who has so much confidence, he has enough confidence for the entire um, tri-state area in, in the capacity of immigration and, and doing it and knowing it inside out. You know, he made it very clear yesterday, let us find someone who knows more than him when it comes to immigration. And I believe it, all right? Because I'm already finding that out. So I say to each and every one out there, Make the call, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to get that free consultation right now, we're getting off. Dial now and get that consultation free now off the air. The number is 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. Prior results through that guarantee similar outcome. Okay, and this has been an attorney advertisement. But I want to also say thanks to you, Fred DeSico, for being here. Looking forward to having you again. Adam Handler. Um, thank you so much for making all of this happen. Okay. Any final words before we go, gentlemen? Thank you for having me. I'm proud to have you guys as my partners. Squeeze, I'm proud to call you my friend. And I look forward to the time when we speak again. Thanks. It was fun. It was definitely fun. And I'm just very happy I'm, I've surrounded myself with attorneys, you know, left, right, forward, and center. And, and ladies and gentlemen, you know, I would like to consider myself very lucky. I have a solid education, you know, um, I have businesses, I have, you know, a great family, great kids and all of that. But I can tell you this, I learned no matter how much of all of that you have, we all need attorneys. You know, Adam has handled quite a few things for me in the past, whether it's my mom or other things. And it's, it's amazing. We're talking, Fred, I've been in a situation where, you know, you were speaking about yesterday off the air where we're talking about, you know, contracts that we get into. And I, I remember ages ago, or years ago, all right, signing a contract 
as a personal guarantee for a commercial lease and getting mm. literally screwed, okay, you know, um, with it. So, you know, these are things that I want people to, to actually understand why they need attorneys. You know, it's, it's very important. I'm very good at many things, but on the legal side, I got to leave it to you guys, you know, and, and I'm very happy in having this show because I am an example and people say, well, squeeze, you're a bright guy. Um, I'm a bright guy, what I do, but I'm, I screw up. I've screwed up in several areas. We all have because we did not make the right decision. And I am, I am proud to say I've made those screw ups. Why? Because people can now learn from my screw ups to better themselves in choosing an attorney, whether it comes to immigration, whether it comes to personal injury. I know people said, well, you know, John Tom down the block is an, is an attorney. Why don't you just have it handle your case? And guess what? They only have one chance, one choice, Adam. They did not get the maximum compensation. Then they come back and said, I want to go back and get more. You can't. So once again, immigration, personal injury, real estate, ladies and gentlemen, criminal defense, you know, matrimonial, you need a PPID. Make sure you make the call to them at 844-774-3529. Adam, I'll let you have the last word. I can't top that, man. Listen, we had a great show. We're getting the information out. Let's keep rolling. Let's keep getting that information out to people, letting them know there's a firm that's willing to willing to handle the tough cases, will, willing to give you the honest answers. But again, we won't call you. We won't even know you're out there. You must give us a ring. You must have the number saved. 844-PPID-LAW. That's 844-774-3529. Good luck. God bless. And see you guys tomorrow. Take care, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Have a good one. All right, great.